Hi, I'm Jared from Casio Australia, and I'm here at Cosmic Sound in Osborne Park today uh, to show you the connectivity of the iPad across the entire Casio keyboard range. Now, for this particular demo today, we're using the WK7500. Uh, however, this applies to all the Casio keyboards as we have USB MIDI output across the entire range. Now, for this to work, we need the Apple camera connector as well as the Casio plug and play pack. Now, within the plug and play pack, we have both a USB lead and an audio lead, which you need to connect up the iPad. Now, so here we have out of the back of the keyboard, the USB lead into the camera connector, which goes into the iPad. And then out of the audio output of the iPad, we have the audio lead, which is looping back into the audio input of the keyboard, which means we're going to hear the sound of the iPad coming through the speakers of the keyboard, uh, as opposed to just the little speakers in the iPad. It gives it a much bigger, bolder sound, as you could imagine. We'll also need to turn off the local control of the keyboard so that we're not hearing the internal sound back of the keyboard at the same time as the iPad. Now to do that, we go into the function menu, scroll down to MIDI, press enter, down to local control and change that to off. Now all we're going to hear is the sound of the iPad. Now for this particular demonstration we're using GarageBand. This app is available for $5.49 so it's an absolute low cost option to really expand what you can do with the Casio keyboards. So straight away you see we just choose a grand piano. As I mentioned, what you're hearing is actually the sound of the iPad, not the sound of the keyboard. So within here we have a few different piano tones that we can choose. We also have some different electric pianos in here. You can see on the screen there's a few different options for what we can control. Um, we have the tremolo that we can adjust here but you can hear that sort of going from side to side. Um, some chorus we can add onto it. Really adjust the tone that you want to get. There's also some different organ tones in here that we can choose where we have a few options here. We can adjust the amount of distortion. So I'm just taking that off. It can also use the sustain pedal plugged into the keyboard to control the rotary speed. So as I press the sustain pedal down, you hear the rotary speed up. As well as keyboard instruments, there's also a whole host of different instruments in here. For example, we can go in uh, and pull out some drum kits. And then we can use GarageBand to actually record and create our own songs on the iPad, playing it through the Casio keyboard. So right now, if I just hit record, Stop straight away, that's ready to play back. We can then go out and choose a different in instrument. So I'm going to go a bass guitar here. And we have a few different types of bass we can choose. So I'm going to go a pick bass. Now we can go out to the song and you can see the two tracks that I've laid down there. So we've got the drum track on the top, the bass guitar here, and we can keep adding to that with this different instruments. You can put guitars in there, different keyboards, your organ tones as we showed before. Um, you can even then export that out to iTunes and share your song that you've created with your Casio and the iPad and share it out with your friends. So we've seen here how the Casio keyboard can interact with your iPad, in this case using the GarageBand app. Uh, however, there's many different apps that are out there whereby you can fully take advantage of using the Casio keyboard communicating back and forward with the iPad. So if you want to check out the range of Casio keyboards compatible with the iPad, head into Cosmic Sound either Osborne Park or Cannington or go online to www.cosmic.com.au.